Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt. Welcome back to Far Lines of Bust! Spoiters! Not wasting any time here. Digging out of the industrial strength door of the last episode's hidey hole. And ready to continue west towards the Far Lands. I am, however, going to... Hi, Wolfie. Uh, Resecure the hidey hole with dirt. Dirt, I do that because in the in the unlikely and unfortunate event that I do die, I would respawn back at this hidey hole without any of my tools. And if I had a a cobblestone doorway, it would be kinda hard to break through with just my fists. I'd be able to do it, but it certainly would not be would not be an enjoyable experience. Uh but yeah, we're gonna continue on here in episode 456 of Far Lands or Bust. Today is, uh, not Monday. Today is Wednesday. I did not update my notes. Uh, it, it is Wednesday, March 4th. Wednesday, March 4th, 2015. We've got enough food for Wolfie, so we'll leave. We will leave these pigs be. Let my people go. Let my pigs swim. Uh... <laughs> Indeed, indeed, and we're still raising money for Child's Play Charity. Raised a little bit more, more money, bu 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 bu, mo money, mo problems. Raised a little bit more money over uh, the past few days at farlinesbus.com, up to $32,115 raised this season, season five of Farlands Bust for Child's Play Charity, helping get toys, books, games to kids in hospitals around the world, and trying to raise $50,000 this season of Farlands or Bust. When we do, indeed, reach that $50,000 goal, I will schedule and hold yet another Far Lands of Us marathon, a Flabathon live stream, where we uh, walk to the Far Lands live on Twitch TV, and then our voice cracks uh, on Twitch TV slash CurseJMac, and then at the end of the live stream marathon, we press F3, finally, to see how far we walked during Season 5. The last time I pressed F3 was, obviously, at the end of Season 4 at that Flubathon, which uh, actually was just over a year ago. I did it on March 1st, 2014, pressed F3 at the end of that, and was found to be at 1479940 from Spawn. 1,479,000 blocks from Spawn. We are walking, of course. In Minecraft Beta 1.7.3, vanilla style, vanilla style. Dun, 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 dun. That wait, no, that's Hammer Time, not vanilla style. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, vanilla without any sort of cheats or mods. The only kind of quote unquote mod, not really a mod, that we have is the texture pack. Is slightly altered for our far lands of bustitude here, but uh, otherwise this is a straight up. Straight up version of the Vidge game, and we are just walking regularly. Not, you know, there's no, there's no uh, trickery. There's no sleight of hand behind the scenes. We are just walking west to the Far Lands, trying to get there legitimately. I suppose you could say there are not so legitimate ways that you can, and people have gotten to the Far Lands. Whether or not it's simply teleporting yourself there, editing the player file to teleport yourself there. Uh, uh, in, in current versions of the game, careful Wolfie, just walking right towards that little chasm there. Uh, in the current versions of the game, using command blocks or some sort of MC edit situation to, to like put in a whole a rail line to the edge of the world like uh, Jail Zipco did. No, by no means any any lesser of accomplishments, but uh, not not the same thing, I suppose. This is the one and only. Far lands a bust. That that crazy guy who gets mentioned in videos like I just did recently, the the PBS PBS game channel on YouTube, PBS something or other, uh, and and other places. Kind of kind of neat, I suppose. But yes, here we are continuing on, and I suppose there might be. Uh, I did get a a bump, the old Mindcrack UHC bump in some subscribers. It was a positive! We've been... everybody lately, I suppose, a little bit behind the scenes, but uh, there's been some troubling, troubling waters afoot. What? Uh, troubling times, not troubling times, but just kind of strange unusualness with the YouTubes in that pretty much everybody 
Uh, it almost seemed like overnight a few months ago, but uh, it seemed like just subscribers, the, the increase in subscribers has halted. Uh, some folks, like myself, were actually over time net losing subscribers, whether or not that's actual people unsubscribing or the dead accounts being removed by YouTube. Uh, and then, you know, other people who still gain a bunch of subscribers perhaps aren't gaining them at the rate that they used to. Not not sure what's going on with that. Uh, let's go ahead and just blame YouTube. Uh, but uh, actually the first time since that that I saw a big spike in subscribers was from UHC. Uh, kind of unfortunate, uh, well, fortunate for me, but not fortunate for my teammates in that it was because uh, Doc, Doc, had all of his uh, footage corrupted, so he had no UHC to upload, so people were turning to my channel, obviously, to uh, to see the perspective of our team, of the remaining team members on our team, so a little bit of a UHC bump that we will accept, and I suppose uh, if there are some of you still sticking around and, and watching my other series, like this, Far Lines of Bus, welcome, welcome, welcome to the, to the club. Uh, that's, that's what this is about. I'm not gonna do a full recap situation, but, uh, this is, this is Far Lands of Us, my main, my main, my main squeeze <laughs> on the channel here. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna continue on here. Uh, I have, what did I wanna, speaking, speaking of the YouTubes and stuff, Friday, March 6th, is the four-year anniversary that I started playing Minecraft, uploading videos onto YouTube, Let's Play videos, and I kind of, I kind of, last, at the end of the last month, I'm like, I should really, obviously, I, I attempted a little bit of a stunt by turning east to help promote additional donations to Child Play Charity, and it certainly did, a lot of first-time donors, very generous additional do donations to, to get me to turn back west. Uh, I was hoping that would get us to their goal, Perhaps, perhaps in another time with, with more viewers that would have happened, but uh, uh, that's no fault of your own or anything, but uh, we, we, we got a, a great, a good bump. Like I said, we raised more money in that two weeks than we did the entire season two. $8,200 of Far Lines or Bust. So that was amazing. A lot of good stuff going to, like I said, the toys, books, games, consoles, uh, iPads, mobile, mobile games and devices and, and stuff. Going to hospitals around the world thanks to that, uh, so uh, that that was really good. But obviously we didn't reach our goal, so the flabathon doesn't look like it's going to be happening this March, unless some sort of magical event happens. No, uh, but no problem. So I was kind of I was kind of hoping, like yeah, okay, f anniversary, a uh, really good time to to look back and reflect on what I'm doing here with with YouTube. This is indeed a full-time job of mine and that this is where I get the primary source of income that allows me to sustain myself and put a roof over my head and whatnot. Uh, so I'm like, I should try to not really reinvent myself, but reinvigorate, re... you know, this is... this is 2014, going into the... the fourth year and towards five years... gosh, I hope we can at least make it to five years uh, of doing YouTube as, as a job would be amazing, and I kind of want to just like get get on the horse, like full, just trade trade the horse for a different horse, a much faster and more uh, more productive horse, perhaps, <laughs> and uh, you know really get things get things on the move. Um, you know, get back on on uh, doing weekly live streams or even more frequently. Uh, get more diverse series going. I've kind of done that. We had Grow Home, we had Gravity Ghost, we're, uh, we're doing uh, console games, I want to do more console games. Just kind of be better at what I'm doing, at least in my own eyes. I haven't heard anything negative, specifically from viewers or anything, but this is kind of just from my own eyes. And and uh, unfortunately, March has begun, and uh, not nothing like that is really taking shape yet. There are other other situations that have come up that are, again, taking a little bit of my uh, attention uh, above and beyond my my reinvigorating, reinvigorating, reinvigorating uh, my my YouTube work and channel here. Uh, but I, I still I, I still want to keep that in mind. I don't know what I have to do. Maybe I have to become. I've, I've always said that I'm not one of these YouTubers who has a spreadsheet, multicolored spreadsheet of my entire week. 
scheduled out, oh, between this time and this time, I'm recording this, and I'm publishing this, 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 and I, I, I try to stay to a, a schedule of, of publishing uh, videos, and I often, with like a, a series like Grow Home and other series, I kind of wonder if the every other day thing... The every other day thing kind of just came about, I think, from UHC. We decided to release the original UHC series on an every other day basis in order to give people time to watch all the different perspectives. Uh, but I don't know, you know, I don't know if that for a, a single player series is that a proper thing to do. You, you, you also want to allow people time to watch each of the episodes. Uh, but uh, is that is that the thing to do or not? Or perhaps I should have... I was going to experiment with like Grow Home and release that on an everyday basis, but that didn't work out either. I went, I defaulted the other day. Conversely, is is a series like Formula One, a weekly series, something to look look to, to a, a, a way of releasing content. Let's let's go to sleep and continue talking in the morning. And the sun rises in the east, and we continue walking west, twisting our ankle, breaking our toes. This is Far Lands a Bust. <laughs> That's the uh, the Far Lands a Bust pub tune song. You know that people get drunk and sway back and forth and spill beer all over the place. Uh, but anyway, yeah, is is the weekly series something to consider? Because it is kind of with uh, network television, kind of the the format people are used to for their for their content to be released. You know, Modern Family is on Thursdays at at 8 p.m. or whatever, or every every week, or is it on Wednesdays? Uh, one of those days. Uh, so is that a way, you know, Formula One is pretty popular, gets good views, that, you know, that's partly a lot because we got Vintage Beef in there too, uh, who has a, a lot more of a, a, a viewership, and there's become a, a kind of a, a cult following of Team F1, I suppose you could say. Uh, but is the weekly series a, a way to release stuff? And then uh, another layer on top of that is you have the, the binge watchers. You have, you know, the Netflix style where you just release an entire series all at once. Uh, is that a way to do things? I don't know if that would work too well on YouTube. Um, but, uh, I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps I should experiment with that. Perhaps I should find a short Kevin Wolfie, a short game and, uh, play it all the way through in, in episodic form, but then release all the videos at once. Uh, would, would that be something, you know, kind of experimenting, but I'm, you know, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should... Uh, do I need to be one of these people who makes a schedule for themselves? Uh, all the color-coded, multi-situational recording this with this, recording this with this. Uh, you know, for example, myself and Beef, speaking of Formula One, missed... We were both busy at our normal recording time. We missed last week's Formula One recording, and people were, Oh, why is no Formula One today? Did I miss something? Oh, what's going on? You guys are still playing that game, right? Uh, so certainly a, a schedule helps, uh, but yeah, I also wanted to get back on top of the the live streaming and making new series and and doing more collabs and co-ops and things. Uh, but the things have have shifted. Obviously, also wanted to get back onto the vlog train. I'm I'm running towards it. I'm trying to catch up with it, but uh, somebody's got to uh, throw me a line. Uh, and and yeah, there 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 are a lot of things I want to be doing better for my own well-being, but that I think would also help the channel. So I've been in this very nebulous place where I want to do something or some things, uh, but uh, I can't all at the same time. And when other stuff is going on, it's it's a it's a it's a rough life, I tell you. No, <laughs> it's not that bad. But one of the things we're we're keeping consistent with here is Fire Lines of Bust, so we're keeping that up. Uh, I wanted to bring this up because, like I said, March sixth is the anniversary day, and I said I wanted to do some sort of anniversary live stream. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to work out for Friday. That that was the point I was getting to. I'm going to be better at what I'm doing, but not quite yet. Not quite Friday. Uh, we might have to look at was it the 25th? I believe the 25th. Or 23rd, 20 something of March is when episode 11 of Far Lands of Us was released, when we actually started walking to the Far Lands. Perhaps that's a better day, better time to actually schedule something. Not a full on flobathon, but uh, some sort of. Maybe we'll rec record 
a live episode of Far Lands or Bust, but then we'll do other live streaming. Uh, I've always, uh, back on my, was it my thousand subscriber special, I did a revisit to my first Minecraft world, which I never actually played on YouTube until that point. Uh, it'd be kind of cool, because I still have all these saves on this version of Minecraft and this installation of Minecraft. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to go back and kind of explore some of those things on, on stream. Uh, to really, to, to peer, I, even I haven't loaded those worlds up in a, in, in three or so years. Uh, it'd be a, it'd be a nostalgia trip, perhaps we could do that, but, uh, yeah, I might have to take the time to actually schedule it around the actual journey to the Far Lands anniversary as opposed to the series anniversary. Uh, so I do I do appreciate everybody still sticking around and showing their support. Of course, the support through Child's Play Charity, through subscribing. Hopefully the, the curve has, has lowered from UHC, but maybe we'll try to stay in the positives of subscribers. Maybe, I mean, there's nothing you can, you can only subscribe once. There's nothing you can do about it, but uh, uh, I, I do appreciate you for sticking around. And, and like I said, those of you who did join from UHC, thank you for checking out some of my other series. Is, 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 is. I'm, I'm a strange noodle, but uh, palatable, I hope. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that, I just wanted to kind of... I feel like answering all these questions from donors, I don't... I, I don't get down to brass tacks. I don't do some real talk from, from now and again, and that, I think, helps. And that's maybe uh, a difference. You could definitely tell between the, the early days of Far Lands Robust and, and the current times that uh, the things and the way... I talk are a little bit different. Better, I think better as far as commentary is concerned. But oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is a this is a dangerous place to investigate. Wolfie, Wolfie, over here, over here, over here. I saw the cobblestone, so I have to I have to uh, check it out. The spawner over there, or what I'm assuming is a spawner, but it is dangerously close to this pool of lava. Oh, it's it's actually. <laughs> Hidden. All right, hey guy. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait! Hold on. Oh god! Oh no! No Wolfie! No Wolfie! Come over here, Wolfie! All right, we're going over here, Wolfie. We're running. 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 Wolfie! 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 Yeah, Wolfie's fine. Okay, Wolfie is not in the lava. Okay, that is exactly the thing I was afraid would happen. All right, have a seat. You're probably still angry. Uh, I should have just kept using the diamond sort of spawn pointiness. Because that's why it's here, to be used. To be used! But, uh, I panicked. I'm not used to, uh, attacking zombies and things. Whoa! Hey, yeah, you better burn. Alright, let's... I only have four torches. Oh, and there's no... You guys, I'm going to destroy your very existence. Don't even have a chest for me to have. Hello. Wow, that takes forever. Ah, what what a bum deal. A bum deal, I say. Took a whole heart of damage and got Wolfie all riled up for nothing. For nothing! <laughs> I got bam bamboozled. Oh gosh, I have this... Sorry. You can't see this, but I have this... An eyebrow? I have an eyebrow. <laughs> for those of you who are curious, I have an eyebrow. <laughs> Two of them, actually. Uh, whoops, have a seat. Uh, let's feed Wolfie here. But there's there's one strand. I don't know if you guys get this sometimes. That's significantly longer than the others. Oh, well, I guess I ate that. Well, th thanks for letting me share in your treat there, Wolfie. Uh, you're supposed to do that when you feed a dog. is kind of like get your scent on the food so they, they know that you're the alpha dog. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Wolfie knows. I am the alpha dog. He thinks he is. Um, you get one of those really long strands and it's just like sticking out there and I can't stop playing with it. I don't want to like pull it out and have like a bald spot on my eyebrow, but regardless, anyway, continuing on, on topic, let's start answering some questions from donors. Of course, when you donate to Child's Play Charity, you can uh, leave a comment that I will see and in that comment field you can ask a question. And I will add it to the list here and attempt to get to it in a future episode of Far Lands Bust. And uh, leave your, if you want, all donations through Child's Play Charity. The Child's Play Charity widget are anonymous by default. Uh, so unless you take the time to 
set up a login and a, and a, and a username and set that preference to be not anonymous. Uh, if you want to just leave in that comment box the the, the byline, the, the from this person, your Twitter name, your YouTube name, your, your name name, whatever. Uh, that way I can actually reference the question to a person. Uh, such as, such as... No Troop. No Troop asks, have you ever considered recording voice and video game audio separately? This is a, this is a technical YouTube question. Seems like whoever does something... Wait, whoops, wrong, wrong, wrong question. I've mixed multiple questions here. Have you ever considered recording voice and video game audio separately? I'd love to be able to just download the voice audio to listen as a podcast sometimes. I do. I use DX Tori, which is the recording software that uh, I use to record PC video games. And I do. It does record and output different streams for both the game, i.e. the computer audio, so if I am doing a multiplayer thing, then that person's voice gets recorded to that track as well. And then separately, my microphone, that thing, the microphone track is a separate track. Uh, I do that so that I can have some finer finesse over the levels between the game audio and my own voice, other people's voices, that I'm playing co-op with in my own voice to kind of equalize, um, but I don't I don't take that and then separate it later. Like I don't I don't keep I don't keep that after I render and upload a video to YouTube I I destroy I destroy the the original uh, recording because it's 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 no longer useful. It's uh, if if you follow me on Twitter I recently. Twitter to picture a screenshot of my hard drives and they are they are running out of space. I need to think of some sort of situation here where uh, uh, just I, I keep all the archives of my videos and uh, I don't want to then also keep all the archives of all the, the original raw content either. So um, no I don't I don't keep that so it would be kind of weird to say start now and record or just publish, say, the the microphone audio as a podcast. I don't... I, I get that suggestion a lot. I mean, I could just rip the, uh, the audio from the video. Let's go to sleep and continue talking in the morning. Shall we? We shall. And awake this. I could just rip the audio from the video and upload that as an mp3 to wherever or something as a podcast you can do that yourselves too there are browser plugins for your firefoxes and your chromes that allow you to rip an mp3 from a youtube video uh, and then you could play that on your commute or put it on your ipod or do people have ipods anymore put it put it on your walkman put it on your discman discman God, what terrible ideas was that I always skip every time you sneeze uh you know you could you could do that yourself i certainly don't mind that you do that, but uh, but yeah, I've, I've for the longest time I've gotten that suggestion to just turn this into a podcast, but uh, I don't. Uh, that's that would be another step in my rather laborious process of making these videos, and uh, it would be. I don't know. I feel like I would have to then go back and do it for all previous 455 episodes, and uh, I, I'd rather use that time to make multicolored spreadsheet schedules for myself <laughs> um but uh yeah i don't yeah mm, eh, mm. Uh, it's just it's just one of those things that I, I get that suggestion a lot but I, I feel like the format on youtube is is where i'm at and uh as beck would say it's where it's at so i'm gonna stick with this at least for the foreseeable future i don't see that much need to change uh, but I do appreciate the question and the donation. No troop. From... Oh, an anonymous donor. Perhaps a person who didn't know they had to include their name. Do you think the internet is too uncompetitive? Seems like whoever does something good first dominates. Google, Facebook, Wikipedia, YouTube. None of them are perfect, yet they hold seemingly unbreakable. Yep. Oh, there goes. Oh, I got the eyebrow strand. 
I said, yep, it was a long one. Well, gotta live with that for the rest of my life. No, uh, <laughs> uh, hmm, uncompetitive. It's tough. It is very difficult to say. I, you know, you say, okay, Google is dominating, but there's still competition-ish. There's, there's your Yahoo's. Your, uh, there are a lot of Yahoo's on the internet. There's Yahoo. There's, uh. Um, so much competition, Microsoft, the, the Bing, and uh, it, it, it's tough to say. Certainly more competition would be better, especially, obviously, YouTube. Of course, YouTube is now, I feel, at least in the gaming arena, competing with your Twitch, your Twitch sort of situation. Um, but it, it could use more even than that, I feel. Then again, when there's so many fragmented services... I don't know that, obviously, the community, I don't want to call it community, the audience, maybe, would not have built, say, around YouTube gamers as much. You know, it's because, uh, you know, because there are so many options here on YouTube, say, the people who get swayed and wooed into subscribing to PewDiePie, hopefully... And certainly, if the YouTube suggested video algorithms were a bit better, it would be then suggested and turned on to watching Far Lands or Bust, or, or Brian Logan 111, or another gaming channel that, uh, you know, if, if we were all fragmented around different services, that wouldn't be too possible, uh, unless there was a direct reference in a video. Uh, so... Yeah, um, too uncompetitive? Possibly, but then again, all those things you mentioned came out of, comp you know, Facebook replaced your, your MySpace. So there, there always kind of has to be, it seems like, a top dog, I suppose. And, you know, when that becomes irrelevant or they don't innovate enough... Then something else comes around. You know, Twitter, it's hard to say Twitter is competing with Facebook, but I feel like it is, kind of. So uh, the next thing should come out. It, it, it's, a, it's a tough, tough thing to, to sell. I mean, obviously, even I saw a joke about Ello. Ello, governor, E-L-L-O, was kind of a, a competitor... A Twitter-like service that started up, but it said that it would never have advertising. It would never uh, share your data with 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 advertisers. Uh, basically, a privacy-based messaging service, kind of like Twitter. And when it launched, it was by invite only, and of course that just causes more hubbub around the thing. And uh, oh, you got to claim your name on this new service, and blah 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 blah. But uh, now. Nobody's on it anymore. So it was a competition, but it apparently didn't have the oomph necessary to maintain. Uh, but yeah, I saw a cartoon where, like, somebody said they logged back into Ello, and then they had a, a funny meme uh, image of the skeletons in, in on, on desks or something like that. So that, you know, that to say that Ello is now a, an empty boneyard. Um... So, yeah, it, it's tough to say. It's tough to say, I think. I'm not really that much of an economist, or uh, do, do I know how how it really affects or works with uh, the different markets and market share and competition and stuff like that, so I can't really comment too much. But, yeah, it's hard to say. As long as net neutrality and the basis of the internet remains unimpeded by, say, the service providers, or the ISPs, or these services like your Googles, uh, and, and Facebooks, and, and other services. Uh, as long as that remains true, then there's always, I think, a possibility for something else to, to climb to the top and, and usurp these, what you're considering kind of mon monopolistic services on the internet, I suppose. I'm just saying words at this point, so I'm going to go on to the next question. Um, have, another anonymous question from a donor, have you seen yourself getting more extroverted in real life? 
or not? Uh, I'm going to go with or not. Certainly not extroverted. It would be kind of a big pendulum squeam. Squeam? Squeam? Swing. Where did I even come up with squeam? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the heck wires got crossed in my brain where where a pendulum swing went to squeam. It's not even a word, is it? Squirm is a word, not squeam. Anyway, uh, it would be a pretty big pendulum swing for one to go from introvert to extrovert. Uh, but uh, I, mm, perhaps I'm a little bit more careful, Wolfie. Confident in my voice, maybe? But then again, maybe not. Uh, so, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It would, it would have to take the the judgment or the, the input of somebody, a third party, who had known me pre and post YouTube to really be able to answer that question, I feel. Because it's, it's, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. And of course, it, it, it varies. Some days I feel like a nut, and, and, and some days I don't. And sometimes I just have a, a, an almond joy. Mmm, coconut covered in chocolate with an almond inside. Oh. Those are gluten-free, I think. I think, yeah, I've had those. Those are gluten-free. Yes! Score one for the gluten-free candies. Get rid of that. Oh, I didn't need, not, not need to pick that up, actually. Uh, what do we need? We need wood. Definitely we need wood. So let's grab some... why not? Some of this stuff, some birch wood. It's not... it, it, is, it is not a different color. I mean, the, the block is, but the... Oh, the actual planks that come out of it are not a different color in this version of the game. See, back, back in my day in Minecraft, we didn't have these fancy pants colored planks. It was all just wooden planks, wooden planks, wooden planks. And, and the half slabs, the half slabs, they were, they were flame retardant. <laughs> ah, inflammable, if you will. Let's build a boat, let's do this last little leg of the journey before the sun sets. Um, from Michael, or I suppose just a strange way to spell Michael. What do you think your first death will be? Well, it's kind of close back there. We were uh, we were getting lambasted by a few zombies, and our priorities changed from saving ourselves to saving Wolfie. So, lava, lava, I feel is an underestimated uh, danger here in Far Lands or Busts. I have fallen through various holes in the ground and fallen quite a distance to take a bunch of damage. Uh, I'm, I'm only imagining that happening, but with lava at the bottom of that journey. Uh, so that, I feel like that could be the case. Uh, it's pretty tough to say that a mob situation, it almost, you know, the few times I have almost died, it has been mob situations. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it, uh, it would have to be some sort of accidental fall and and probably most likely a lava situation because uh, I feel you know lava pretty almost near instantly kills you uh, let's try to get of course here here I am venturing too far too long in the darkness trying to get to the other side of this hill here uh, I want to be right there I want to be right there I want to be right there uh, you know what, let's have a crazy... Oh, I'm out of torches. A, a corner office here. This is actually probably a bad idea, but... Uh... Oh, Wolfie. No, 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 no. You're gonna stay on the outside. Good job. Oh, I need torches. The, ma the man need torches. The man need torches, he said. Up, oh, that'll do, I guess, for now. Up, oh, I hear, I hear noises. All right, I'm gonna do. All right, good night, Wolfie. Bleep, blop. Oh, so dark. There we go. And oh, we just need to make it. Oh, let's go down one, actually. 
up one. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, th thank you everybody who has given these questions. And first and foremost, obviously, donated to Child's Play Charity at farlandsbus.com. I'll think... I'll, hmm, we'll, we'll have to somehow mark the next... Oh, I need some more uh, pork chops. We'll need to somehow mark the next episode, which will be 457 on March 6th, this Friday. The four-year anniversary. What am I trying to do? I'm looking for my workbench. Uh, the four-year anniversary of Farlands Bust. It's craziness. Craziness. Wasn't known as Farlands Bust by episode one, but uh, it became it, and it is indeed still this same world save. Neat stuff indeed. Of course, Good just went through 500 episodes. He just had his 500th Mindcrack episode. It started out as a single-player series for him, so... He's just been uh, incrementally counting upwards. So maybe, ooh, maybe, yeah. I think you can look forward to Friday. Something happening, perhaps on Far Lines of Bust, but maybe even related to uh, Minecraft. Hmm? 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 <laughs> uh, so yeah, keep going to farlandsofbust.com to donate to Child's Play Charity. And I do appreciate you following along here, and and hopefully the the few of you who remain who have stayed for all four years, I will I will see you on Friday as well with everybody else. My name is Kurt. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. <laughs>